to determine the size of the initial pattern and to adjust it to the size of the client, it is necessary to sew a mock-up. It is impossible to do without a mock-up. On a piece of cotton, non-stretching fabric folded in half, I lay out the pieces of the pattern of the corset forepart. Since there will be lacing in the center of the forepart, we put the central piece without folding. If you are into sewing, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let me tell you a few words about the seam allowances. On the lacing edge, there will be no seam allowance because this edge will be finished with the lacing bar. The seam allowances along all vertical princess seams will be 1.2 centimeters, including the side seam of the corset. There will also be no seam allowances along the top and the bottom of the forepart because this corset will be sewn according to the technique of transparent corsets. And following this technique, both the top and the bottom should be finished with a pencil edge and a bone, without folding the edges. I cut out all the pieces of the mock-up and make the notches. I sew together the pieces of the corset forepart along the vertical princess seams. Do not sew the wriggling bones and do not press the mock-up. I put the mock-up on the dress form. For the convenience of joining the forepart in the center, I have sewn a strip of fabric over the central pieces and pinned it to the dress form to make a cleavage. The central pieces are joined edge to edge. After the mock-up is ready, you need to take the measurements of it and of the client to adjust the initial pattern according to the shape of your client. If your client has more or less of a standard shape, then it may be enough to take the measurements of the half circumferences along the lines of the bust, under bust, waist, stomach, and hips. For non-standard shapes, it is better to operate with measurements of full circumferences. After taking the measurements of the mock-up and of the client, put them into the table and make the calculations, which I repeatedly explained both in my courses and in free lessons. The only difficulty is with the measurement of the half circumference of the pattern along the bust line. Because later, when sewing the corset, we are going to use a ready-made foam cup. Therefore, when calculating the client's pattern, take for the bust line the calculated values obtained for the under bust line. And the final adjustment can be done during the fitting with the foam cups sewn into the corset. In this particular case, I work only with the forepart of the corset. Therefore, I made the mock-up and measured only the front pieces, and the calculation of the client's pattern would be done only for the forepart. If you will have to sew a full corset, then naturally you will have to cut out the pieces of the back too. But when sewing a mock-up, you should not join the side seams. The front and the back should be separate pieces. You should take measurements of the mock-up and recalculate the initial pattern to the client's measurements separately for the front and the back of the corset. It is very important because in this very garment, the position of the side seam should be just perfect, precise, accurate, and be positioned exactly in the place where the side seam should be. We will join the side seams of the corset with the side seams of the jacket, 
and if the side seams of the corset will not be in their place, it will warp the jacket and it will fit just disgustingly. After making the calculations, you change the paper pattern. Again, cut and sew the corset mock-up, but this time it is already one of your client. My mock-up of the corset forepart is already sewn according to the pattern adjusted to my client's measurements. Only after doing these operations, you can start modeling the position of the cup. In other words, we have reached the sections of the cups shaded in gray. Now I will show you how to model the position of the cup on the mock-up, i.e., the areas which I calculated on the paper pattern and shaded in gray beforehand. You will just have to cut off these areas on the mock-up and to sew the ready-made foam cups in this place. Before starting to model the position of the cup, we must take into account that we are planning lacing at the front. Therefore, we should leave the necessary distance for finishing the lacing, i.e., for the lacing bar, about 2.5 centimeters wide. I measure 2.5 centimeters to each side from the center, points A and B. So I take a cup that fits by shape, size, and all parameters, i.e., namely the cup that will be used for sewing. I put the round bone of the chosen cup to the corset so as to make it going through point A and touching the underbust line, and I encircle the bone, outlining its position. Remember that the cup is larger in size than the bone. I mark the position of the round bone on the second cup of the corset just the same way. You can see here two variants of the position of the round bone where the cup overlaps the lacing and where it does not overlap it. Thus, the outlined contour of the position of the round bone is the boundary along which the edge of the cup will go. I add the seam allowance for sewing the cup about 0.7 to 0.8 centimeters. And the cup position area is ready. The area shaded on the mock-up has to be cut out and the selected foam cup has to be sewn into this place and later it should be covered with the main fabric. So now you know how to mark the position of the ready-made foam cup in the corset.